Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Roofless Garage. This is the second episode and today we're going to get back on the MK Indy R. So last time we replaced the transmission, we had to put the engine out, do it outside, put everything back in there. Everything's looking good now. So today we're gonna have all the fiberglass panels. We're gonna work on them, we're gonna make them nice and, and smooth. We're gonna fix a couple chips that happened uh, on the front of the nose. And on top of that, we are going to prime and paint and that's gonna be today's project stick around and see how we do today All right, so the first thing we need to do, uh, we have to fix, there's a, this little crack right here. Uh, I mean, this happened because my buddy was driving the car a little too long without any kind of paint. So this is just bare gel coat. And literally a rock chip can actually damage the gel coat this bad. So we do that. And one of the other things is we already cut a, a hole right here because we're gonna put this NACA duct carbon fiber NACA dock, it's gonna be right here. But we have to cut that and get it nice and ready before paint, so we can actually make this thing pretty. So I'm gonna start by sanding a little bit of the material. So it's actually, it's actually gonna stick and uh, all the, the bondo, we're gonna use this a special kind of bondo specifically with, uh, it already has fiberglass in it, so it's a very good to fix just uh, actual fiberglass without having to use different kinds of like two different layers, but it's gonna work and uh, let's, uh, let's fix this little thing real quick. So here we have the nose for the MK. It's all fiberglass and it's just uh, covered in gel coat. So we're gonna start by using a little bit of this uh, red scotch brite and uh, scuff the whole surface, make it nice and coarse so the primer attached to it. And it's pretty simple, just start by going at it and spending some time with it. Make some holes for this intake. have the pressure set at 45 psi that should be good enough Thank you. 
guys, the primer is done. It's dried out, it's ready to sand. But it's a lot easier to give it a little coat of black guide, uh, which pretty much allows you to sand just the very surface. So pretty much you just give it like a very small drizzle on top. So when you're wet sanding, you don't want to go past that. So you start wet sanding and as soon as the, the black is gone, that means that that part is good to go. So let's get into wet sanding. All right, so we're ready to wet sand. We have our soft block, we have our sandpaper. But one of the things you need to do is keep your block wet while you're sanding. So a good trick is grab a water bottle and make a hole in the center. You got a bucket with water, get all wet, and start sanding. But you just keep it wet with your water bottle. So we're gonna go to about 80% of the wet sanding with 400 grit, and then we're gonna switch to 600 grit, and it's gonna be a lot faster. All right guys, it's day two. Last night we finished uh, priming and wet sanding all the, all the parts. Today we're gonna paint them, but I'm gonna show you how you can get your own paint booth for very, very cheap. And you can set up on your driveway and your backyard as long as you have a nice clean surface we can put it on. So let me show you how to put it together. There you go, this is it. This is a 10 by 20 tent that we turned into a paint booth. So the cool thing about this tent is that it is only like 90 bucks on, online. It's fairly easy to put together, especially if you have a friend, it takes nothing. So this pretty much allows you to not get the wind uh, blowing on all your parts, no dust you know, falling onto your parts after you paint them. So I recommend you uh, set it up whatever you have like a flat surface with no dirt, like in this case, it's concrete slab, and hose it down and keep it wet so all the, all the particles just fall in the water and there's no dirt coming on your parts. Very easy way to set up your paint booth for, for pretty cheap. Let's paint some parts. Alright guys, so the parts are painted. It's not the best job, but I mean it's it's a backyard paint shop kind of job. Looks pretty good. I mean there's a couple little little flakes here and there that we're gonna clean up by hand, give it a little sand and getting that out of the way. But for the kind of car that it is, for the kind of uh, fiberglass parts that these uh, are, 
this job is pretty much as best as it, as it will get. So, next episode, gonna put everything on the car, rivet all the pieces in place, and take for a spin. And thanks so much for hanging out, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode.